Betty, I know it's late, but we were just downstairs with the with the parents watching wrestling. Um, so we're gonna get started with this um, get to know us video. It might be in two parts. I don't know. Um, so we're just gonna let you know about us. Um, right now you. If I keep looking up and you hear that noise, it's because my fiance is um, playing WWE 2K16 on his PS4. Um, we like wrestling. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my name's Marcella Francisca Avila. Um, I'm 18 years old. I. I am originally from Idaho, and I moved down here to Pennsylvania to be with my fiance. Uh, we met on a dating site. Well, it's not really a dating site. It, we considered a dating site because that's how we found each other, and it was on Kick, K I K, Kick or Kike or however you guys call it. Um, so this is Jerome DeCarmo Palnall. He is 24 years old. He was born with a disability. His disability is cerebral palsy. And, um, you know, so since you guys know our ages, we just don't want no hate comments because we're not doing this just to hear hate. And if you guys have a problem with the age difference, then oh well, oh well nothing I can tell you. Um, okay. yeah, my parents are okay with it, his parents are okay with it, so that's all that matters, we don't care about anybody else's opinion, unless you guys are rooting for us and happy for us, then that's a different story, we thank you guys, um, so, yeah, so just keep the hate to yourself, because all I have to do is just delete your comments and block you, and then that'll be it. You know, that would be no problem for me. I don't mind. And you're not obligated to watch our video. <laughs> yeah. Because Nobody asked you guys to come and watch it. We would like, we would like you to watch yeah, it. Yeah, we would like you guys to watch it and not have no hate. But, you know, if you guys Project have a problem, yeah. yeah, then just you guys can get out of this video or do whatever. Me and him, we're very straightforward people. We don't like to be rude. We're not trying to be rude. We're just saying because... You know, a lot of people like to give a lot of hate. So, you know, just saying. Um, we're both Christian. Uh, well, I was... You like makeup. I like makeup, obviously. That's what my... My channel... I'm not trying to make my channel just about makeup. I'm trying to do new things, too. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do to show you guys. Or I might do a... I guess it's like a vlog channel just so you guys can have a little sneak peek of what goes on in our lives and you know um but he's thinking about doing his own channel you know for um trips and you know whatever he does um he likes he likes to play music i like to play music i like to play the flute i've been playing the flute for about uh, six or seven years and I played the trumpet for a year, and um, I played the clarinet for a year and a half, and then I think those are the only instruments I've played. Um, he's trying to teach me how to play the guitar, because that's what he is, that's his favorite instrument, the guitar. Hey, you want to get the guitar and show them, babe? Yeah, he can come in. He's going to get his guitar so he can show you guys. He has one. His first guitar is in a case right now, though. And we don't, we're not going to mess with that because it's a little... It needs a little fix-up. But this is the one that his grandpa gave him or got him for Christmas. Yeah. Or was it just... Christmas. Yeah, this is it right here. I don't know what kind of guitar it is. You'd have to ask him. And this is... It. It's, it's a nice guitar. It's very nice. There's a name right there, I think, where you can get it's a, it. Yeah, it's a Fender. It's a Fender? Yeah. It's a Squire Fender. Yeah, a Squire Fender? Yeah. Yeah, Squire Fender. 
It's very nice. I had to get him a cord for it because he has an amp. It's called an amp, right? Yeah, I have an amp. It's called an amp. Yeah, an amp. And if you guys would like to... Um, Learn a little bit more about the guitar. Leave some questions down below in the comments, and I will have him get back to you guys in an another video that we might be doing together. Um, yeah, so any questions for him about this, let us know. Um, but yeah, so he likes to play the guitar. He knows how to play the piano, right? What other instruments, boo? Uh, harmonica. A harmonica. Um, yeah, we're we're into instruments. I was in band for a few years too. I was in concert band, marching band, and jazz band. I was in those three. Um, so yeah, music kind of runs in our veins, you know. Um, I like to play volleyball too. Volleyball is my favorite sport. Um, I'm pretty good at it. You know, I was the best on my team, not to brag or anything, but I was pretty good. I had the right training. My coach saw a lot in me, so she decided to um, teach me a little bit more about everything. I would, I was. Okay, I was on B team, but that was because I didn't know how to set the ball right. I wasn't. A, I'm not a good setter, so I was on B team. But A team, they always lost everything. They lost all their matches when I was going to school, and um, B team won all their matches except for three. Um, so. I would go in, like, my coach asked me after practice one day, and she's like, oh, can you come to the tournament with us and help us out because you're a good server? So I was like, yeah, that, that's an amazing opportunity. So that's what I did. So I went and I I did, I did my serves, and I tried to get as much points as I could, but, you know, once you do the rotating, there's a certain amount of rotates that you get. So then I was I had to sit out, you know, which – kind of suck and you know but it, it is what it is I guess um but what else um, well, I love video games. oh yeah he is a big old fan of video games he gets a video game almost every month sometimes he waits a couple of months but he usually gets a video game every month and he loves it. Um, I'm trying to... Mm, I don't even know right now. I don't remember. I don't remember right now. Um, we have a dog. His name is Dash. He's a hound mixed with a Labrador. But he's, you, you see the hound more in him than you do the lab. Um, he's really cute, too. Um... My favorite subject in high school or in school in general was math. That's my favorite subject. That's the only subject that I was really good at. I'm good with my numbers. Um, he, he, he's everything else except me. I, I struggled in everything else. <laughs> I just prefer math. Math is my subject. Math is my like everything. So that's why I know financially I'll be able to help both of us and. When it comes to everything else, he can, like, you know, help me learn it a little bit better. Um, he's Indian mixed with um, black. Um, I'm Mexican mixed with, well, I'm not really mixed with anything. I just have a little bit of Italian. Just a little tiny bit. And because my dad has a little bit of Italian in him. Um. No, yeah. No half of, cause my grandma. No, he had a little bit in him too, cause my grandma's my grandma was half Italian, so that means her kids would be. Oh. Mm -hmm.
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, we're weird. Sometimes we have to, like, you know, <laughs> sometimes we just whisper. Um, I'm not really a girly girl. Um, some people think I'm a girly girl, but I'm not. Because I had a comment the other day saying that, oh, you're such a girly girl and all you want to do is brag. And it's just like, no. What's up that? I'm not a, it's okay, I blocked them. And I was like, no, no, no. I said, I'm not a girly girl. Um, well, like I said. Because in my opinion, I feel like I'm just like one of the guys. Because I like to hang out with guys more than I do girls. Because girls are just. <sighs> no. Um. Nothing against girls. I'm not saying anything to girls that are watching my videos. I'm just saying in general, there's some girls that I know that were just, you know, something I just didn't want to mess with. Um, but, you know, I just let people say what they want to say. It's not going to bother me. It's going to hurt my feelings because I've heard, I've been called a lot of crap. People say a lot of crap. Call me a bunch of names, which I don't even care. I had to get over it. Yeah, at first it hurt because, you know, who who likes to be bull bullied in that type of way, you know? Because I, I was bullied for since I was in fourth grade all the way to seventh grade. Until seventh grade, I decided to be like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of being called fat. I'm tired of being called a whore and a slut and a bitch, excuse my language, um, you know, I was just getting tired of that, people kept pushing me around, picking on me, so you, I was, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm fed up with this, I said, you guys want to call me what you want to call me, go ahead, but don't expect me not to say anything, so, and it was always the boys, always the boys, it was mainly the boys that were picking on me, but I did have my guy friends. Um, but just certain of those guys that were just like, oh, you're a whore because you hang out with all these guys. And then there was these girls that were just like, oh, you're a slut. You just want to hang out with, just to get in those guys' pants. And I was just like, are you kidding me? What, like, what is this world? Like, everybody in this world has to judge somebody just so they can feel good. You know, it's like. You're picking on me, calling me fat, ugly, to just to make yourself feel good because you have issues of your mm -hmm. own. So me, getting sick and tired of it, people wanted to know why I was becoming the bully. People want to know why I have issues. Well, it's like I got picked on for so many years. I decided just in ninth grade to stand up, eighth grade, just to stand up for myself. And because they would put their hands on me and I got tired of it. I just said, you know what? It's time for me to kick some ass. And that's what I did. The guys didn't like it. That's when they stopped messing with me. And then the girls, they didn't like it. That's why they stopped messing with me. But now everybody, as I got in high school, everybody wanted to be my friend and everybody wanted me to be, fight their battles every time they had a problem. I was just like, no, you ain't my true friend. All you want is for me to kick some ass no nope, sorry that, that doesn't fly with me I don't I don't like those kind of people I try to keep myself distant from those people um so no I'm not gonna deal with that nonsense anymore um I don't like to be walked all over I don't like to be always told what to do because I have a bunch of issues I have an anger problem I stress out a lot. Sometimes I'm always sad. Like, I get depressed and I get sad and I just want to end me. Because <laughs> I get so overwhelmed and stressed out. And I have anxiety. I prefer to be in a small space than in a big space. That's why I'm doing online classes because I, can't, I moved down here to Pennsylvania and I was finishing my senior year at Scranton High School, but I was just like, I can't do it. I said, I got upset because I was trying to get a locker. Nobody wanted to get me a locker. And I said, you know what? I can't keep holding a, a bag with a bunch of books and binders and books. I mean, 
and pencils and stuff and then holding three books in my hand and going up and down stairs and going to the first floor, second floor, third floor. I was like, that's just too much for me. I said, I don't mind just, you know, carrying what I need to carry, but come on, a bag and, with a bunch of books in it and then three other books in your hand? That's ridiculous. So I kept trying to bug for a locker. Nobody wanted to get me a locker. And then some of the people there were so rude. Some of the teachers were rude. I didn't know what's... I was new, right? I didn't know any of the rules. And I would automatically get in trouble because I was in class early. Who the hell gets in trouble for being in class early? Yeah. Oh, we have too many students. We need everybody to stay in the cafeteria or outside. Well, when we started school, it was cold. Well, when I started school, it was cold. And they expected me to stand outside. So I was on the third floor. She had me walk all the way back down. There was two minutes left until class started. All the way back down. And then all the way back up. And I, I, didn't, I didn't like it. I was just like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of this. I, comp I, I, came, I always came home crying. My fiance would ask me what's going on. His mom would ask me what's wrong. I'd explain to them, hey, they expect me to walk up and down the stairs with all these books with and it's heavy I say and I can't handle all the I can't keep walking up and hurting my back and all that nonsense and I was just like I can't I said and the lady made me come down the stairs and told me I can't be two minutes early before class I had to be down there until the bell rings and the teacher said you can go in I was just like fed up with it. I said, you know what, I can't do this. I said, I'm, I think I'm going to have to just drop out. And then they were just like, no, I'll try it a couple more days and see if they get you a locker. So I tried it a couple more days, still didn't get a locker. I told her, I said, you know what, I'm done with this. I said, I don't want to quit school. I need to figure out what else I can do. Because they were still being rude. Some of these kids were being rude to me in class. They wouldn't get me a locker. And I, I just couldn't handle all that weight on my arm and hurting my, and, you know, putting all that crap on my back. I had to walk up all these stairs and you guys expect me to hold all these books. So I just said, you know what, I'm just going to do online schooling. Because I talked to the, to the guidance counselor. I said, I need to do something else. I said, I can't. So I got into online schooling. Um, so, yeah, that's what, that's how that happened. Um... What else? Talk about yourself. You're making me do all the damn talking. He's so distracted right now by his video games. He's right? talking he, about myself like... You, it's supposed to be a get-to-know-us video, not a get-to-know-Marcella. You told them everything that like, you could possibly tell besides me going to culinary school and Oh, yeah. Graduating. He graduated. He graduated. told them all there is about me. I'm a simple, I'm a simple person. Yeah, yeah he went to school for culinary, and he graduated he graduated when he was 17 and then went to college for to go to culinary school and then graduated culinary school third in his class he was third in his class for somebody who has a disability like this he was third in his class that's awesome that's a, a amazing accomplishment that's it just blew my mind when he, they told me about that I was like what he did what now I said, how? I was like, because when you go to culinary school, they expect you to move so much, you know? So I was just like, wow, that's impressive. So that was one of the things that led me towards him. Besides that, I love him and he's a good person. Um, uh, yeah, so now he's thinking about probably like going to, um, going back to school to going for music. Um, cause he wants to learn how to put music together and make, you know, do the beats and stuff. He want he wants to learn how to do that stuff, and so he's thinking about going to school for that and doing online classes. Um, so that'd be exciting. Um, so, but we're gonna look into it a little bit more before we decide to make our decision. Um, yeah. Well, he, not not we. It's actually his choice, not mine. I can just root him or discourage him, which I am rooting for him. Uh, I didn't realize this video is going to be just about me talking. That's just ridiculous.
All I do is talk, talk, talk. What do you mean all you do is talk, talk, talk? That's the reason why I'm doing my channel, though. Because yeah, I have a bunch of issues. So you can talk. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't have a channel if you can't talk. But, yeah. We just wanted you guys to know us a little better. If you guys have any options out there of, like, what I can, you know, what type of videos you want to see and, um, you know, if you guys can subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. Um, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway pretty soon. It's going to be a Dollar Tree giveaway. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about going there to get some stuff and then I'll let you guys know what to do and for that giveaway. So... Yeah, because I was like, huh, giveaway, that'd be interesting. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try doing that and see how that goes. Um, yeah. Because I'll be able to get... Um, because I can probably do it on the 22nd of this month. Now but the yeah, bliss is gone. that'd be fun. No one's so, sure what these guys are after now. yeah, we might. I'm trying to talk him into doing a. My boyfriend does my makeup. Well, fiance does my makeup. But I don't know. He's still saying no. But yeah, I just want to try something new, you know. Um, what else? Get there as soon as you can, and we'll hope there's oh. something left to save. We love comics. Oh, we love art. We love to draw. Um, let me see if I have a couple of my pieces here. It can't be that way. It has to be this one. Um, yeah, I have a couple of art pieces I can show you guys real quick. I can show you some that are on my wall too. So I drew this. I drew this. I drew this. I'm not very good. I quit drawing a long time ago, but he got me back into drawing and I drew this. And then I drew this. Because me and him, we love our superheroes. We like Batman and Superman. So I drew this. I painted, I drew one and then painted one for him. It's over there on the wall. And he, does, I don't, he doesn't want to bring it down. He likes keeping it there. But I have done animation. Like back here. Wait, wait. The heart right there with the rose is mine. And then... <sighs> right there is mine too. Um, I'll put that up in a minute. If you guys know who this is, leave this down in the comments. My dog always gets like, ooh, there's my toy, but it's not his toy. Um, I drew this. Hope you guys can see it. And we like our superheroes. There's our calendar with our superheroes. There is, what's her name? Uh, who? This. Uh, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn for my side because I'm the female. And then there's... The Joker, because he's the man. And then there's our other poster for the Justice League. Me and him are trying to get more so we can fill up our other wall. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit that you guys can know about us. I can't think of anything else because I'm pretty simple and so is he. So I don't I don't know what else. Oh, we're planning on going on a trip to Florida this August, 
and you know save enough for a car after that and then we're gonna save up for a place and then thinking about having kids so that's it that is all I can think of so dash come here come on come on come on come on come on up top come on up top Come on, up top. So we're all going to say bye-bye now. Dash, say bye. Say bye. Okay, we're like, bye, guys. Bye. Say bye, Dash. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. See y'all later.